members of parliament and governors who are on, on, on the stage with me for this occasion of press. Uh, and I also commend our media for showing up. I know there's a bigger press occasion at Crown or Clown, uh, but, uh, but let me thank the media for coming up in big number here. Uh, for the start, let me say 63 members are in the house in this camp. 63, I am the only one giving numbers for the press. There needs to be order and 63 is in the house uh, for this head count. And so let me uh, thank the 63 members of parliament. <coughs> Firstly, let me thank, uh, and I'll go down the names so that, so that the press has the benefit of names of members of parliament who are in the house with us. And after I've done my bid, I will pass to the Honorable uh, uh, William Duma, leader of the URP-led uh, faction in the house, as well as an, uh, and the Honorable Patrick Pruides, the, the leader of the opposition the original opposition and the opposition that built up to 49 of us will officially welcome uh, the Honorable John Pundari and the rest who joined us today. So for the benefit of the press and in the instance of uh, the interest of the nation as to the shift of members into the Laguna camp, let me announce, and I have the greatest pleasure in announcing to the public uh, and the country the names of the Honorable Leaders who are in this movement to change our country for the better after witnessing the down, downward trajectory as to how the Prime Minister O'Neill has led us over the last seven years. Uh, the Honorable Patrick Wrights, the opposition leader, is in the house. The Honorable Timothy Massieu, Deputy uh, Leader of Opposition, <laughs> Member of South Bougainville, is in the house. The Honorable Sam Mekere Morota, Member for Mosby Northwest, is in the house. The Honorable Alan Baird, uh, ECP governor, uh, he was out in, uh, in, in Manila, he's back, he's in the house. The Honorable Belen Nama, member for Wanamu Green, is in the house. The Honorable Dr. Alan Marat, <coughs> member for Rabaul, is in the house. The Honorable Karen Gakua, uh, member for Sine Sine Yongamuk, is in the house. The Honorable Gary Jufa, uh, governor of Oro, is in the house. The Honorable Peter Numu, governor of Eastern Highlands Province, is in the house. The Honorable Walter Snowbelt, Member for Namatana is in the house. The Honorable Ian Ling Staki, member for Kevian, is in the house. The Honorable Dr. Lino Tom, member for Wabek, is in the house. The Honorable Brian Kramer, member for Medang, is in the house. The Honorable Peter Isuamo, member for Karikuhiri, is in the house. The Honorable Joe Sungi, member for Nuku, is in the house. The Honorable James Donald, member for North Fly, is in the house. The Honorable Seki Agisa, member for South Fly, is in the house. The Honorable Richard Medani, member for Kerama, is in the house. The Honorable Joseph Lelang, member for Cambrian Gloucester, is in the house. The Honorable William Nakin, member for North Bougainville, is in the house. The Honorable Roy Simo, member for Huan Gulf, is in the house. The Honorable Robert Naguri, member for Bogia, is in the house. The Honorable E.C. Henry Leonard, member for Samurai Muru, is in the house. And the Honorable Salio Waipo, member for Angoram, is in the house. And the Honorable Tony Wawoi, Governor of Sundown, is in the house. The Honorable James Marape, Member for Taripori, is in the house. The Honorable Se Peter Ibaras, who is away on Enga Province through a duty call, will be joining us tomorrow morning. He is part of this team. The Honorable Dr. William Tonga, Governor for Jiwaka, is in the house. The Honorable uh, William Powi, Governor for Southern Highlands, is in the house. The Honorable Philip Bundialu, Governor for Hela Province, is in the house. The Honorable Seb Pukatemu, member for Abao, is in the house. The Honorable Charlie Benjamin, Governor of Manus, is in the house. The Honorable Sassindran Mutuval, Governor of West Britain, is in the house. The Honorable Taboy Yoto, Governor of Western Province, is in the house. The Honorable uh, Jinson Sanu, uh, Governor for Morobe, is in the house. The Honorable Robert Agorobe, Governor for Central, is in the house. The Honorable David Stephen, member for Esala, is in the house. The Honorable Solan Medicine, member for Telefomin, is in the house. The Honorable Manasseh Makiba, member for Common Magarima, is in the house. The Honorable John Simon, member for Mabrik, is in the house. The Honorable Joseph Yobi Yobi, member for Wasaragawi, is in the house. The Honorable Jimmy Uguro, member for Usina Bundi, is in the house. The Honorable Saki Soloma, member for Okapa, is in the house. The Honorable Jeffrey Kama, member for Karamuin Nomane, is in the house. The Honorable Pogi Ogate, 
Member for Dallow is in the house. The Honorable John Russell, Member for Lay is in the house. The Honorable Rainbow Piter, Member for Finsafen is in the house. The Honorable William Stamp, Member for Goelala is in the house. The Honorable Dr. Kobe Romario, Member for Tawai Siasi is in the house. The Honorable Wera Mori, uh, Member for Suave is in the house. The Honorable Pila Niningi, Member for uh, Imbongo is in the house. The Honorable William Duma, Member for Hagen and Leader of URP is in the house. The Honorable Jalta Wong, Member for Gazelle is in the house. The Honorable Joel Lera, Member for Bougainville is in the house. The Honorable Johnny Along, Member for Middle Ramu is in the house. The Honorable Mera Kifafe, Member for Abura Wananara is in the house. The Honorable Wi William Onglo, Member for Kundiao Gambok is in the house. The Honorable Henry Amuli, Member for Sohe is in the house. The Honorable Joe Cooley, Member for Anglim Southwagi is in the house. The Honorable Michael Dua, Governor of Simbu Province is in the house. The Honorable Tomai Kapili, a Member for Lagai Pogora is in the house. The Honorable Richard Masere, Member for Izibitari is in the house. And the Honorable John Pundari, Member for Kombiam Ambum is in the house, bringing our number to 63 men strength in the house in the Laguna camp today. And that is the number we present to the country this afternoon. Am I right? Yeah. All right. We, on behalf of the team of leadership sitting on the table, let me also uh, take this time to announce that we have locked our gate as of 12 o'clock today. And the Honorable John Pundari was the last leader who walked into our gate. We have one or two personal friends on the other side. We have one or two party members on the other side. We are organizing our house in order. We know the clown team at Crown continues to send so many missed signals. There is no such thing as the Prime Minister resigning and handing over leadership to someone who's not yet even a Minister of State. That is legally not correct. And so that is an act of clown that is going on at Crown. And let me let me uh, speak on behalf of the 63 strong men here. We respectfully refuse one or two personal friends. For me, I refuse one personal friend who's a member of parliament who came in, and I have to respect these two leaders here. It is no more about James Marape. It is no more about William Duma. It is no more about Patrick Price. It is about a team of like-minded leaders on this side of the house. I sacrifice a personal friend today and ask him, go back, stay at house, until this team decides the next course of the way we'd like the Team Laguna to move. Ladies and gentlemen, the alternate government is in place. Bring it on! On the 7th of May, we were shot by just three. We were shot by just three. Maybe it was not God's timing. Today, we have crossed the threshold of 56 with the inclusion of like-minded leaders led by the Honorable William Duma, who moved in and our camp gate today at 12 o'clock shut with 63 members in the house. This is not a funny business. This is about life of citizens of this country. Yes. 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 Take These the are leaders back. who sacrifice perks and privileges, who sacrifice comfort of office, who sacrifice friendship, who sacrifice personal cognitive affinity and relationship. I sacrificed my relations with Peter O'Neill, but it's nothing between Tari and Yelubu and Panki anymore. This is about country. It's nothing about Imbongu and Yelubu and Panki anymore. This is about a country. This is a serious matter, and we are in serious business. This is not about sifting sands. This is about solid rock and solid ground. And so the team of leaders here, their views ahead Collectively, they decide, not me, not the Honorable William Duman or the Honorable Patrick Price. 
The team collectively decided at gate start at 12 p.m. this afternoon. Who am I to not honor the views? And the three leaders collectively as running this camp, we've honored the views. We will organize structure of our own government. And once we are comforted in knowing that we have the alternate government structure in place, we will be in business to talk to anyone and going forward from here on. So we are all about locking down now and firming up our numbers and on this, at this juncture, let me pass the microphone to the leader of the uh, URP party. He will speak, say his peace of mind, and we will then pass on to the formal opposition leader and he will then uh, welcome the Honorable John Pundare into camp. Thank you very much. Uh, fellow leaders, members of the media, um, as most of you would be aware, when our Prime Minister O'Neill, our uh, Prime Minister of the country, O'Neill started his government in 2011. United Resources Party was its foundation partner. We have served our country under the leadership of O'Neill. It came to a stage where, when my fellow leader, Patrick Provides, leader of the opposition, continued to remain focused and determined to change the government, I had to take notice. Being a member of this Mare, that government, for more than 10 years, and as a fellow leader in that government. And then when the leaders led by the former leader of government business, the Minister for Finance, Mayor for Tari, Honorable James Marabe, whom I call my brother for life, followed by the governor for Southern Islands and Hela, and the governor for Enga, the Grand Duke Sir <coughs> Peter Epirus. I also had to take notice because we've always had mutual respect for each other. So it came to a stage where the party which I lead in that resource party had to make a decision and to acknowledge and take notice of the views of those leaders I have mentioned and to make that decision. The United Resource Party was well rewarded by Peter O'Neill. And in fact, when we made the decision to cross over, we had two ministers who were only two weeks old as ministers. We had to make the decision in the best interest of the country. And we have got no regrets. And I remain confident now that what you see here is the new government for our people of Papua New Guinea. The long, the long suffering people of Papua New Guinea. This is the new government. The minute members of my team, together with our senior minister, Glenn Inigi, and of course, Vera Mori, when we walked into the camp, I felt as if I had been in this camp from the start. I felt that I was at home. Because nearly all the members, the leaders were here are known to me and they know me. So for me it was not a big big change. There was no need to adjust myself. So this is the government and I'm very proud and I acknowledge the steadfast leadership demonstrated by Freddy Pride and James Marabe. May God bless his new government for our people. Thank you.
want to thank you, uh, members of the media, distinguished members of parliament. Let me, on behalf of the alternate government, take this opportunity to welcome the newest uh, Minister of State, the Honorable John Pudari, of, uh, who left the only local government to join the alternative government. Uh, uh, thank you, John. Welcome to the alternative government. And we look forward to working with you to ensure that the interests of our country is captured, molded, and moving forward. Let me also take this opportunity to remind state institutions, government agencies, in that the new government is in the making. And we will be in the next few days asking for them to come forward to brief the alternative government, alternative government on what the state of the economy is, what are the major issues uh, in terms of uh, leading practical solutions moving forward. We are ready as a team to <coughs> take the country forward and to demonstrate <coughs> our seriousness in uh, addressing some of the Making issues in the country, we have taken some housekeeping measures to ensure that we stand ready to take on the challenge. One of the examples is that by 12 o'clock today, we have decided to uh, shut the gate uh, because there is sufficient numbers to form the next government. <laughs> As a result, two of our colleagues were asked to tend to their houses waiting for us to uh, contact them in the, in the near future because we believe that with 63 we need to uh, structure a new government and we need to ensure that uh, every party, every segment <coughs> of our alternative government interests are captured. And that is the reason why we said that we need to keep our house in order and start, in fact, the job of restructuring the new government has <coughs> taken place since uh, two weeks ago. And given the timing of when we put, it, put this into play, uh, we should be able to uh, address the interests of our country. Uh, we stand ready to uh, respond to the cry of our country we stand ready to uh, resolve some of the major issues and address some of the prevailing trends, negative trends that, are, that have taken place in the last government or in the government of uh, O'Neill Ibel. We stand ready to uh, ensure that the negative indicators of our economy are addressed. And we stand re ready to review some of the uh, decisions <coughs> taken by Labour government, we will <coughs> have no problem in putting stop to some of the arrangements that we feel that are not in the interest of our country. We will review, and if they are not <coughs> a priority of the new government, we can postpone some of the executions of those programs. Uh, we need to bring back some sanity in the economic management of our country. And with the experience of the team behind me, behind us, I think uh, the country is not provided with a new opportunity for us to progress forward. We stand ready to take on that challenge, and I can assure that every citizen of this country that we mean well in putting the new government together, in taking on what is been lacking in the government of on your life. Again, on behalf of the Laguna camp, uh, let me uh, again welcome the Honorable John Kundari, um, member for, member for uh, Kombia Mambo. And uh, of course, I know that uh, Richard Masari joined us earlier on in the, uh, in the morning. 
welcome to welcome to uh, to the Laguna team. Yes, uh, what happens on the other side? Uh, we are not moved by the event taking place on the other side. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We are in serious <coughs> business, of, business of putting together government. Whatever is happening on the other side, you can go and report irrelevant. that it is irrelevant, irrelevant to this team. We are very focused on taking back our country. Yeah. 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 We are very focused <coughs> on ensuring that our citizens decide what is right. What has been missing in the last seven years, we want to correct that and ensure that uh, we attend to their basic needs and requirements. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I don't know whether the former minister from Dari wants to say something. <laughs> Come, 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 come. 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 Come, the Honorable, the uh, leader for uh, Pangu Party, uh, my brother James Marabe, the uh, Honorable leader of uh, United Resource Party, the Honorable uh, William Duma, and extinguished leaders of uh, political parties, uh, senior leaders, and uh, others uh, who are here with us today. It is indeed a humbling experience to, to be welcomed into the uh, Laguna camp. Uh, but let me, uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, thank the good Lord. Uh, thank God our Creator, a God that gave us a beautiful country, a wonderful people, uh, blessed with uh, so much of the resources we enjoy in this country. I just want to say thank you for the answers of the prayers all around the country. And I am sure that the Spirit of the Lord has moved the hearts and minds of, of fellow leaders. And here today, to walk in the last, being the 63rd, and to close the doors. Uh, is an experience that I can only humbly uh, attribute to God and to say thank you and uh, to appreciate the fact that leaders have been moved by his power, his spirit, to be united in this camp for the cause of our country and to serve the best national interest. Uh, let me also uh, thank the uh, opposition leader, the Honorable uh, Patrick Pruitts, and the uh, opposition team that have been. I must acknowledge the fact that they have been a very credible team, very committed to this country. You can never get a good government without a good opposition. Mm -hmm. I have admired them from the government. I have from previous experiences. I uh, realize that uh, the opposition will, will uh, trickle down in its numbers. Uh, sometimes to once upon a time when my brother, the Honorable Belden Nama, would have been the only lone person in the opposition. <laughs> but this time around, uh, uh, it has been uh, encouraging that we've had uh, a team of great leaders seated in the opposition and we're being able to, to help support ensuring that, that the government was on the right path and uh, to ensuring that uh, uh, a lot of our issues that challenge that pertain to 
the interest of of all that is right for our people have been uh, uh, articulated on the floor of parliament. I just wanted to humbly uh, uh, acknowledge that and to uh, uh, say thank you so very, very much for, for keeping the team together for the people of this country and providing that formidable opposition team. I uh, wish to also acknowledge uh, the courage of uh, the Honorable uh, uh, James Marape. When he resigned, I was one of the first to call him. And the next day, together, we had dinner in my house, and it was a Sabbath, and we prayed together. Yeah. And uh, my prayer was that uh, the power of the Spirit of the Lord will move the hearts and thoughts of leaders that we all work together in the best interest of our country and our people. Well, God doesn't have to come and uh, speak to us directly or send down an angel. I think he speaks to his leaders uh, in his own ways. And the fact that uh, 63 here at Laguna, the people of this country have spoken. Yeah. And have spoken uh, loud and, uh, and have spoken uh, very, very clearly, and I thank God for the inspiration that I have received to make my own decision as well, not only for and on behalf of my people of Kompia Mambum, but uh, uh, in the best <coughs> national uh, uh, interest. I want to acknowledge uh, the leader of the URP. It has not been easy for him. Mm. It has not been easy for him as a political party leader with a very, very senior portfolio in government, having to have worked very, very closely uh, with the uh, Prime Minister uh, and was able to have the guts to make the decision and to move his numbers to the Laguna camp. I am so very, very privileged that uh, we had some discussions uh, together and as a result, uh, I have been inspired to, uh, to move as well. But all in all, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be uh, with a team that uh, loves this country. Let us be uh, sincere to it. Mm. And uh, let us ensure that uh, we make the difference for our people and for our country. I have worked very, very closely with uh, the Honorable uh, Peter O'Neill. I am not here to speak any bad things about him, because I've got no, any uh, form or any shape or sizes of personal vendettas against him. And uh, I am sure that uh, he will understand as a leader, uh, amongst other leaders who would be equal to him, to respect the decisions that they have made. And I think it's a vote of uh, no confidence in that the numbers rule on the floor of parliament, and the numbers have spoken, and I am sure that he will be guided with wisdom and understanding from above to ensuring that there is a smooth transition. I thank you so very much for your listening, and thank you so much for welcoming me uh, amongst uh, other like-minded leaders. This is not to say that there are other leaders out there who are not like-minded, but I think we must always have our heart at the right place. Mm -hmm. And for as long as our heart is at the right place, we will... Uh, be uh, guided in our thoughts as to the decisions that we make for our people and uh, for our country. Thank you so much, everyone. We will invite. We will invite. Really. Uh, I think I have to make this point. So, I am sure it was not easy for James Marabe, uh, my brothers like William Boy, uh, Governor Wundialu, and others from that part of the region to make the decision that they have made. It is indeed a very, very powerful decision. And I say it is a powerful decision because we all know that the leadership, the Prime Minister of this country, comes from our part of the world. Hey, we elected him. We gave it to him. Our part of the world. <laughs> and uh, it's not an easy decision to make. It is not an easy decision to make by the leader of the URP party. 
And uh, I think this is an indication to say that, hey, listen, uh, our country is bigger than us. Uh, I think the Prime Minister he himself says that. And all of us do. And uh, I thought I should just uh, acknowledge that it was never an easy decision. It was a bold decision. And it was a bold decision uh, for the love that uh, I believe we all have for the country. But this was indeed a, a special case. <coughs> and I uh, wish to acknowledge that. Thank you, the Leader of Opposition, for your kind words in welcoming me into the Laguna camp again. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, if I can ask the media if you want to have one moment with the uh, Honorable Richard Masere, please. Uh, Governor Bo, if you don't mind, the Honorable Richard Ma Masere can uh... Thank you very much, uh, Media. Um, my decision to come to Laguna today was um, uh, a decision that uh, was challenged by my families, uh, people that had uh, a lot of influence in my life. And um, I got up this morning um, knowing in my heart that uh, the decision had to be made. Um, the country is at a, at a point where um, important decisions have to be made. And as responsible leaders, um, it is important that we take on that responsibility to make those important decisions to allow for this change. So um, for that reason, I, I um, got on my car this morning and I, I uh, drove into Laguna to show support to the alternative government. And because of the like-minded people that are here, um, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, if the change is going to happen, this is the alternate government that will make the change. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll bring the press to close, but if there is any, uh, if there is, we'll take uh, two or three questions. That's, that should be, that should be it for a day, but if someone has two, and uh, you, uh, you are given the luxury of one question is from uh, uh, one, each media house here. All right, no two questions, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> All right, you don't put the leading one first and uh, come with the next, the main one later. You have a privilege of one question. My one question then: um, What do you think this could, you know, a change of government? What do you think this could mean for um, your relationship with Australia, especially the refugees on one side? Uh, well, <coughs> Australia remains our single most big, biggest bilateral partner. Whether it's something we can help, they will still remain. But this team is all about having consensus-based decision by the entire body here. You can see what happened today. The entire body agreed that some of our members be kept out of camp. We are deviating from one man decision. That's the difference I can give you. And we will respect every layers of decision-making process. We are a Melanesian country. We have national government. We have provincial governments, we have district-based programs, and we have local governments, and we have our local citizens in the community. We want to give ear to all these levels of consensus, and for national government to arrive at a consensus-based decision. I call, I call it authentic Melanesian-style leadership that has been missing in the last seven years. And so whether it's anything on Manus or any relationship with Australia, it will be by, by anti caucus here, anti caucus here. But let me give, let me let me say, Australia will still remain our number one, uh, number one bilateral partner. Have you already uh, decided on the next? It's a it's a work in progress. The caucus again will decide this, and we have not yet convened a combined caucus. We got three main caucuses from our respective three groupings. We're combining them into one. Uh, time is still on our hand. We're not in a rush. Number is with us. We have the comfort and luxury of numbers. We will organize ourselves into a structure, and until that is done, we will <coughs> announce together. Just to further add to that, you made a decision earlier to 
I withdraw Honorable Marape as a nominee in the earlier motion that we filed with the Speaker of Parliament. We said we put the leadership on the table, and now that we have the numbers, it's now work in progress to uh, be able to come up with our candidate for the province of Ghana. All right, last one. Yeah, please. Are you people any business for the bureaucrats, like for bureaucrats? Mm -hmm. I've just said earlier yeah. in my statement yeah. Yeah. that uh, we're putting them on notice in that uh, it's only 10 days away that this, this new government will get in and don't play out. Um, no. Don't play out. <clears throat> Specific message to the police force, defense force, Department of Works, Department of Finance, Department of Treasury, MRDC, Kumul Petroleum. We will come after you. The books, and if you are implicated, you know where you will end up. Just to, just to add on to uh, uh, Mr. Pride, uh, in relation to all the SOEs, <laughs> our government-owned companies, they have a responsibility to make sure that there's reliable and continuous power supply to our national parliament, <coughs> water supply to our national parliament. They have an obligation to serve those institutions and our people, regardless of change in government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now. They must be responsible citizens of our country. They must serve any government of the day. Sir. What the former minister for those state enterprises and state agencies are saying is that we got intelligence too, you know. We're not in this way as a, as a stupid lame sitting duck. We've heard that they're trying to use sabotage as a way of disturbing parliament on Tuesday or Wednesday. <coughs> Just do the fairest thing. Number has shifted. Do the honorable thing. You're in the process of resigning and I appeal to Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, don't drag the country into unnecessary distress. By shift of number into this camp mean that majority of the people of this country are now behind the Laguna camp. <laughs> don't stress yourself and don't stress government agencies. Just Complete the process of resign and resignation that you have announced today. Don't bring someone who's a father of a nation and put him as a face up there. Honor your word, by 9 o'clock tomorrow, go to government house, tender your resignation, Governor General just signs off, gazette it, hold the gazette hall, announce to the country, I've done the most honorable thing. I have 14 ministers of my cabinet resigned. I got governors of my province, regional province, re my region resigning. I got 63 members who are no longer with me, and I have resigned. And that is very honorable. As you always say many, many times, leadership is not about you. It is about the country. Now we're asking you, do the honorable thing. Complete the process of resignation that you have verbally announced at Crown today. Just complete the entire process, and we ask you, by 9 o'clock tomorrow, do the honorable thing and visit government house and tender in your resignation formally. All state agencies, Secretary Nagin, I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. Secretary David Wehrer, I'm looking at you. They were polite in not calling names. They were polite in not calling names. You're dealing with a man who fights. You're dealing with a man who fights. And every other secretary just play by the books. Managing Director of Edaranu, Managing Director of PNG Power, MRDC. Managing Director of MRDC and Kumul, and every other state agencies work diligently and faithfully and serve majority of the people of this country. And majority is in this camp right now. We, as I said, as I said, these are these are the end game. This is part of the process. So, obviously, that is imminent. If Prime Minister doesn't resign, if Prime Minister resigns, it's a new ball game, and Team Laguna, Camp Laguna, 
and our 63 will be in this house and we open for business to form a new government. Either ways, either ways, he resigns or vote of no confidence, it will we still happen anyway. We're ready. We're ready for business of forming new government. All right, that is it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.